Um, so yeah, we're here today to talk about AI engineering, uh, and it's important to set that in the context of, of the field of artificial intelligence. Uh, so AI has been around for a long time, um, usually considered to be the, the field of study uh, where uh, we're, we're looking to figure out how to make uh, machines intelligent uh, for, for some definition of intelligence. Uh, and AI is a very broad field. It's been around for a long time. I think uh, 1956 at Dartmouth, the, the term was coined. Um, and, and AI includes a lot of technologies and it has been through a lot of waves over the decades. Um, uh, today at CMU, at Carnegie Mellon University, uh, we often refer to what we call the, the CMU AI stack uh, to look at what AI includes. And it includes everything from a, the low level computational resources necessary to realize AI capabilities up through sensing and, and processing of, of data and information to machine learning. And I'll come back to that machine learning concept in just a second. Uh, and then on up through reasoning and planning, uh, human machine interaction, uh, autonomy, um, uh, and, and includes a, a wrapper of policy and ethical concerns. Uh, and AI is really about the science of all of those things and how to incorporate ideas across that whole stack uh, into building uh, intelligent systems. So let's talk just a little bit more about machine learning. So machine learning is one piece of AI. Um, and really, I like to think of machine learning as a way to create AI capabilities. Um, traditional software systems, you know, software developers are programming specific rules, uh, in a sense, micromanaging the functionality of a system. In machine learning systems, uh, algorithms that, that learn from observation or learn from data are used to create a model. And that model can do some set of reasoning or inference on, on its own. Uh, <clears throat> the important distinction be between machine learning and traditional software engineering is that there isn't that micromanagement process, right? There's an algorithm that learns from the training data and then the model itself just sort of behaves based on what it learns from that, those observations. And then inside of machine learning and really a big focus of, of, of modern, modern AI, modern machine learning is, is this concept called deep learning where we've taken an old concept, a concept that was created in the 80s, uh, maybe even the 70s, uh, called neural networks, um, which uh, require uh, a lot of data, a lot of computation. And so in the last two decades, we've realized that the internet has provided an opportunity to produce lots and lots of data available for these types of algorithms. Um, uh, and we now have the compute available um, uh, in a very democratized way with the cloud. Uh, that allows us to train very, very large neural networks to do some amazing things like uh, recognizing um, uh, the damage to buildings after a natural disaster uh, in, from satellite imagery. And so AI is really all of that stuff, right? Remember that full CMU AI stack. And AI engineering is really an emerging field. Uh, it's, not, it, it's been around for a while in different incarnations, but it's really an emerging field that, that recognizes that there's this huge power and promise of, of these AI technologies. There's great applications, there's great um, uh, things that can be done with these technologies. Um, but we need to in, improve the discipline around uh, how we do that in a reliable and responsible way. The best way I've heard this described, AI engineering as a concept, is from Michael McQuaid, the former vice president of research uh, at CMU and, and member of the Defense Innovation Board. Um, Michael uh, describes AI engineering as doing AI as well as it can be done. And so it's not so focused on individual capabilities or particular algorithms, but around the, the qualities that we want these AI components and these AI systems to exhibit, how to make them trustworthy, reliable, responsible, uh, et cetera. So I think that's a, maybe a gentle introduction to AI and, and the concept of AI engineering. And, and Rachel, you might have things to add. Yeah, thanks, Matt. And thanks again, Shane. We're, I'm excited to be here today. Really excited to answer questions from the audience. So please do keep those coming. The only thing I wanted to add on was just that there are so many people looking at individual components of this across the AI research community. And they're focused on specializing in those specific aspects of focusing on model development or on data management processes. And I think a key distinction for AI engineering is we're taking this whole systems approach trying to understand how do these elements intersect 
And how do they come together to drive towards the outcomes we're looking to see? That's the challenge right now with AI is the implementation, particularly in contexts where ambiguity is higher. You know, it's one thing if you are trying to be recommended a restaurant and the stakes are low of if you get that recommendation wrong. But in higher stakes scenarios, so you know, in Matt's example of seeing a bu building after a disaster and understanding the damage to that building, there's a lot of factors there, a lot of variables that come into play. And so figuring out what does it mean to achieve that, to get towards that, that outcome and use these systems in the way that they're intended, it requires us not just to look at the model that is the basis of the system, but all of these individual component parts and where they come together.